The ideal Thargoid war is something I've touched on in previous videos. But, since my last one was months ago, allow me to summarize. It's long been my opinion that the biggest flaw with Thargoid gameplay has been that the Thargoids have, until recently, been a background threat that remains generally unobtrusive to events in the bubble. This means that it was, and still is, possible to completely ignore the Thargoid War outside of the specific areas they operate in. At one point, several years ago, the story was building up to a war in the heart of the bubble. But as we now know, those plot threads were dropped to free up resources for Frontier to make Odyssey, and the Thargoids faded off into a few specific regions in the galaxy where they have remained ever since. It would seem now that we've come full circle, and that the key plot threads that were being pulled way back when are now being returned to their prominent position. I've been cautiously optimistic about this change, as there is now a sense of tension and mystery regarding the unknown flares and changes in Thargoid behavior following the aftermath. This tension is something that hasn't been felt in the storyline for quite some time, and it's a welcome change. From a storytelling perspective, the setup here is excellent, even if the slow burn buildup that followed is fairly tedious. I'm hoping that as these unknown flares approach human space, that we continue to see the stakes rise, and that we continue to learn more and more about the fallout from the Proteus wave, and how it has changed the Thargoids. It would be really lame if things continue as normal, right up until the flares arrive, and we end up with some kind of generic community goal, where we introduce a new Thargoid ship with some slightly different mechanics. The Thargoids are at their most impactful when the Lovecraftian themes about them are played hard, when they act as a mysterious, powerful, enigmatic threat. The Thargoids hit the hardest from a storytelling perspective when there is at least the appearance that we are outclassed, outgunned, outmatched, and could lose to them if we treat them carelessly. I suspect that the storytelling about the Thargoids will eventually lead to a means of communication, which will inevitably reduce the mystery and fear. But that isn't a wholly bad thing if handled wisely and paid off responsibly. The build-up to it should require a great deal of effort on the part of the community, and take advantage of the chance for some excellent puzzles to solve, potentially in relation to solving or translating a Thargoid language. Setting this puzzle in the context of a grinding, brutal invasion of the bubble, where stations and settlements are not just damaged, but destroyed outright, where the fight for every system is a long and bitter one, where players need to engage with this threat using every tool at their disposal, economic, explorative, and militaristic, to drive off or at least slow down the ever-increasing, unstoppable march of the alien threat. Making this puzzle the key to victory, or at least to an armistice, would frame the conflict appropriately, giving all players an effective and meaningful role in supporting the war, or finding a peaceful solution to it. Knowing that failing to solve this puzzle, or failing to organize a strong enough defense, could lead to the destruction of the bubble itself, is key to all of this working and hitting as hard as it needs to. The bubble needs to be able to burn, and the related powers in each system need to be destroyable for the story to have its best possible impact. There needs to be a clearly illustrated threat, and possible options to mitigate that threat, as well as clearly illustrated consequences for victory or defeat. The mechanics of the conflict itself have already been altered in a significant and unexpected way with the loss of Guardian technology in the Proteus system where this all started. This change to the way the game works effectively regresses Thargoid combat back to where it was several years ago, raising the difficulty curve significantly, and it makes the Thargoids in that system 
an exceptionally high-level activity. While interesting in its implications to the lore, this concept is effectively innovation through regression, and I hope that the array of non-guardian weapons advance in some way under this pressure. These weapons don't have to be more effective than their guardian counterparts, but they should be more dynamic than they currently are. Adding engineering blueprints to human AX weapons would be one way this can be accomplished. Adding entirely new human AX weapons to the pool would be another. Alongside these changes, we could use more non-interceptor Thargoid variants. Scout ships aren't much bigger than a Viper III, and there is a significant leap upwards in size from a Thargoid Scout to a Basilisk Interceptor, which the game highly implies is equivalent to a small Thargoid capital ship. Having more smaller Thargoid ships that are potentially vulnerable to standard weapons would shake up lower level engagements and open up AX gameplay to more players. Fleets of these smaller Thargoid ships could conduct raids in systems near the front line and be a precursor to more dangerous Thargoid incursions if not handled promptly by local forces. Having Thargoids colonize the systems that they take setting up Guardian disruptor fields, destroying planetary settlements and orbital stations, then replacing them with their own infrastructure, and absorbing the resources of the system to build more ships, would solidify the idea of an invasion for the commanders who choose to infiltrate systems for salvage or sabotage operations. Providing opportunity for gathering intelligence, looting spoils, or attacking key surface sites like barnacles, Thargoid bases, or parked interceptors, as well as other key targets, would further enrich the idea that the bubble is under attack, and that this isn't just a harassing raid. All the better if these confrontations can take advantage of combined arms, requiring activity on the ground and in the air to fight the Thargoids. I suspect that we're soon going to see what the Thargoids look like on the ground, Having wide-scale tactical engagements with the Thargoids across all fields of combat would be incredible. I don't know how much of this is actually achievable in the Odyssey codebase, but I hope that Frontier has similar ambitions, and that there is an active plan to really move the ball forward. Regardless of their intention, this is what I believe would make for a meaningful Thargoid war. Having these or similar mechanics would make me want to engage with the game, and choose to play it more often than I currently do. What do you all think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I'll catch you all later.